Hey guys, it's ClarkB24 here, and today I just have a quick airsoft video. It's going to just do a basic overview of my brand new airsoft vest that I just recently got from um, Airsoft GI. This is the Condor Outdoor MPS Combat Chest Armor in tan. It's a really great vest, got a ton of great features on it. A couple reasons why I bought this vest is because of the amount of molly space that this vest has. This entire section down here, you can put a lot of different pouches on. I've mounted two pouches here, I'm probably not more up here. Ton of molly space in the middle, um, in case you want to mount more magazine pouches or other stuff. Plus you have this nice panel to put an ID pouch or a uh, patch panel or something. And you have a whole bunch of space on the back to put a hydration pack, which is pretty sweet. Um, first off, one other reason why I bought, bought it for the molly. Another reason is I bought it because this vest actually has integrated magazine pouches. Okay? Three magazine pouches are on this side. These are the bungees. Um, don't know if you've seen these before. But these the bungee is on the top, and you can fit three M4 magazines in this. On this side, there's a different set of pouches. These are basically pull tab with Velcro. You just yank this, and um, it should these should come off most of the time. It's kind of stiff right now. I'll loosen it up, but they're kind of stiff. Uh, these you can basically just take it out and tuck it away. And just stuff your magazines in there. This is just in case you want to keep them secured. Because really, realistically, when are you going to have to, you know, have your weapon and reload so quickly? You really don't realistically need to do that. You can get behind cover, pop two quick shots, get behind cover, and that sort of thing. Which brings me up to another point. People have been telling me that, what I just said, and why I sh and that I shouldn't be have done speed reloading videos. Well, I just do them just because for the heck of it, and they're cool. Alright, I'm going to go over all of my stuff I carry on this rig. This rig may look very heavy. I've been told people are saying, oh, you're carrying around a ton of dead weight. Well, technically I'm not. This is very, this is running light for me. I've run vests that are have a whole bunch more stuff on this. Basically, I'm carrying more than I really need for a game. More mags than I'll need. This can hold 18 mags. I'm probably going to end up carrying only 12. I mean, P mags for the Masada. All right, I'll just start out up here at the top. Um, this whole vest is composed of a um, a nylon material, very nice and durable. Um, up here on the top, inside this piece up here, you have a foam sappy plate that came with the vest. You have an integrated pocket to store all kinds of items. I have two shotgun shells up there, just fit up there nicely. Right here, ID pouch. And the patches on the other side. Got my knife. Small, but you know, who cares? It works. It clips into the vest. Nice little molly. Big two buckles right here for the release ball armor system. You can unclip these, unclip these buckles, undo these two straps, and your entire front of your vest will come off. Moving on more, you've got your integrated magazine pouches, like I stated about earlier. Below that, you have a whole molly section to mount all your molly pouches and stuff. On my right hand side, I have the OETEC gadget pouch. And in this uh, pocket, I keep my gas grenade. Works good for games. Um, I sometimes don't use it that much. I'm thinking about putting like an orange piece of string or something on it so I don't lose it. And then in the upper pocket of this, I uh, keep two speed loaders to reload my mid caps with. Detonation key for my Claymore, which is not in my backpack currently. And uh, I think that's about it in there right now. Usually more stuff's going to be inside there. Alright, over on my left side, I have the Condor EMT pouch. I got a pen sitting on the outside. Inside, I keep my Stanley Multi-Tool. First aid kit. You know, it's got the basic first aid stuff, gloves, disposable gloves, stuff like that. I got a carabiner in here, you know, to clip all kinds of stuff with. And uh, a little notepad. In case I need to write down stuff, radio channels, that sort of thing. Field maps, all that stuff in there. Over here, I got my condor dump pouch. It's not folded up. I didn't fit, said fold it up, I just left it open. Nice and comfortable. I forgot to mention up here it's my Cobra Micro Talk radio. It's right close to my face so I can, you know, give a call in. This isn't going to usually just be sitting here. I'm probably going to end up putting it in one of the pouches or putting it in a magazine pouch like right here. 
and running a communications headset through. Moving back, I've got my TSD shotgun, which I'll zoom in in a little bit onto the uh, shotgun to show you what it's like. And back here, I've got my OETEC hydration carrier, um, and I'll zoom in on both those. So I'm going to set the vest down on its stand, and I'm going to go into so you guys can get more up close shots of the vest. So now, um, now I have the vest off, and now it's on its stand. We're going to get up and close to the vest so you guys can see more of the features uh, about the vest. First off, we're going to focus on the gadget pouch, which is sitting right there. And then we'll move on to the magazine pouches, the ID pouch, the EMT pouch, dump pouch, hydration pack, which is on the back, and I'll just explain about the shotgun being strapped back there. So let's uh, head over to the gadget pouch. Now this gadget pouch is really, really nice. I was very happy with this purchase. Um, like I said, I keep the grenade in here. Let's open this up. Fits my grenade perfectly in there. Plus I can make it nice and tight with that bungee strap. Other stuff that I talked about, speed loaders. There's the, all the magazine pouches. The ID pouch with the knife. Uh, EMT pouch. All that stuff. Dump pouch. Radio. Okay. So now we're gonna. Now you've seen most of the front of the vest. Now we're gonna flip it around to the back. Okay. So here's the back side of my vest. Um, like I said, I have the hydration carrier and the shotgun on. Um, there, you can see the dump pouch better now. But if you're wondering why the shotgun is on here, this is the TSD SD88S shotgun. And if you look here, these are zip ties. I've zip tied it onto the vest, kind of make like a shotgun scabbard type thing. I think it looks pretty cool with it. I mean, I use it sometimes in games, and I can always just snip under the zip ties really quick. And the cool thing is, is this. The shotgun being on here doesn't put a ton of stress on it, and the shotgun is in there really tight so it won't move and rip the molly. And here's the backpack. If you're wondering what this big bulge is, I'll go into that in a second. But this came with the hydration carrier, which is right there. And I just keep, this is a big pocket here. I got this one because I like the pockets. This was this is the cover like for a flag. I just put specs, a little logo type thing, and then Black Knights Airsoft Team. More Molly if you need to put more stuff on. And then back here, if you're wondering what these are, these are the iClops night vision goggles. Um, when I have go to night games, I use these. They work actually really well. I do actually have another pair of night vision. It's a uh, night night vision binoculars. It's like a monocle type thing, and it works good too. Uh, if I'm not using this in there in the pouch, I uh, either put my claymore in there. So that works good too. Now, like I said, a lot of people said this whole pack is a ton of dead weight, which it really is not. I mean, I'm used to running around wearing a heavy vest, and you know, it's always good too. Plus, I because of my loadout, I can easily switch to just wearing a t-shirt, which is pretty cool. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, quick little tutorial type. Well, I'll do a tutorial video if you guys want on to how to get the shotgun on. But. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching this video, guys, and we'll just see you guys in the next review.